Hey there, this is Ethan, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing social distancing as a path towards higher consciousness. So this is a really impromptu video, like, there was almost zero planning that went into it, so just bear with me. <laughs> uh, but what do I mean by higher consciousness, first off? Uh, because obviously, most people watching this video are going to understand what social distancing is, just with the fact of the coronavirus pandemic going on across the globe. So what do I mean by higher, uh, higher consciousness or a higher state of consciousness? Well, basically, I mean you becoming more aware of the way things really are. I don't want to make it sound like this is some hippy-dippy woo-woo definition. I'm talking about a very grounded, grounded state that I think social distancing has the capacity to collectively move us towards. I mean... Um, I literally mean becoming aware of the way things really are. You reaching a higher state of consciousness means that you are more conscious of what is going on in the world, what is going on with yourself, what is going on with your, with your mind, your relationships, your career, what is going on politically, what is going on environmentally, what is going on existentially. What is reality doing? What is reality all about? All of these different things. That's what I mean by a higher state of consciousness. So it's just expanding your capacity to see into the nature of things. It's not like a drug-induced state on a psychedelic. It's not um, a flowery definition that I mean, I can't even come up with a flowery definition because my definition of higher state of consciousness or higher consciousness is very grounded. So that's what I mean. So don't, you know, try not to get lost in the language. And another thing that is worth pointing out is that I'm not making any value judgments here either. Like a lower consciousness or a higher consciousness, one is not inherently better or worse than the other. However, being in a more elevated state of consciousness, this is going to allow you to suffer less. It's going to allow you to have more understanding in life and it's going to allow you to feel more fulfilled with your life. So if you consider those things, if you're placing value onto those things, well then yes, relative to those value judgments, a higher state of consciousness would be better than a lower state. But I'm just throwing it out there. Um, existentially speaking, I don't really think there's any better or worse. However, I do think when I, when I personally consider or when we all personally consider like, you know, what is important for humanity, becoming more aware, becoming more conscious moves us towards what is more important. And this right here, understanding what is most important, this is what social distancing I think is going to allow us to do. I mean, if you think about it, we are in this sort of hypnotic state of distraction created by society. We get up, we go to work, we go home, we make, we make sure we're eating, you know, we're checking in with our, maybe our kids, or our, our spouses, we're checking in on the news, we're checking in and watching TV, we're playing video games, we're reading books, we're checking social media, we're going and hanging out with friends, maybe we're going out on dates, and all of these things are beautiful, do not get me wrong, like even watching TV can be great, I mean, I love a good TV show, I love some Netflix and chill, you, you know, like it's fun. And it's fulfilling. I mean, some of the most wonderful experiences of my life have literally been just sitting my ass down on a couch and binge watching a show. <laughs> so don't give me, like, don't mistake what I'm saying here. But when we're in that state, you know, when we're constantly in communication with other people, whether it's our kids or our, and our, our significant other even, which we would normally consider to be very important components of our life, but when we are constantly distracted away from ourselves. This is not conducive towards self-reflection and contemplation. Contemplation and reaching these, the, these higher states of consciousness through just doing nothing and reflecting on the state of the world, reflecting on the state of your mind, reflecting on the state of your emotions, reflecting on the nature of things, this happens best when we are alone, when we are facing our boredom, when we're facing isolation even. There's a reason there's that stereotype of, you know, a hermit going out into the middle of the woods to become enlightened. Like, 
the reason the hermit does that is because the hermit doesn't want any distractions. Their sole focus is to become conscious. So with this whole social distancing thing, you know, we are collectively in a position really being imposed on us by Mother Earth. <laughs> it's not our choice. But we are being, a situation is being imposed on us where we now collectively have the opportunity to really sit with ourselves and really contemplate what it is we're doing here. What is most important in our lives? Like, what do we care about most? When we have our entire way of life uh, slowly taken away from us or quickly taken away from us in the matter of weeks, that really puts things into perspective. And not only is it a way of life being taken away from us, it's also another way of life being imposed on us, which is social distancing and possibly even isolation. I mean, the way that it's looking is that there's probably going to be some lockdowns that go on, in, at least in the United States. And more than likely, there are going to be some lockdowns that go on uh, across the globe and other countries as well. Like, and, and like China and Italy, I don't think they're a special there's special cases. I think what happened in China and Italy is very likely to happen even in the United States and even in other countries. So we just have to collectively be ready for that. But when we all collectively take on that responsibility of social distancing and self-isolation and utilize it as a means to reflect, as a means to understand things, we will all hopefully collectively move into a higher state of consciousness and that's my hope for humanity and my hope for myself just personally is that i i utilize this time while i have it don't get me wrong this coronavirus thing it's horrible i mean it really is uh, and i say that um like very authentically i really wish the suffering that was going on in the world like was not happening i think as of today like making this video there were like 600 deaths yesterday in italy alone from this i mean that is that's a huge huge casualty rate in one day and and, it, and i'm afraid that that's going to keep happening in other places around the world i mean that's horrible but if there's any silver lining with this situation if there's any silver lining with all of the social distancing with all of the isolation and the solitude it's that it's collectively giving us an opportunity to breathe and reflect. And so my hope for you, if you stumbled into this video, my hope for you is that you can truly, genuinely use this time to become more aware, to become more conscious of what's most important in your life. And when we get out of this situation, you will then be changed for the better. We will all hopefully be changed for the better and um, hopefully start taking better care of ourselves, start taking better care of the earth, start taking better care of everything, <laughs> living more compassionately, living more lovingly, living with more kindness, living with more serenity and living with more wisdom. I mean, that's best case scenario regardless of this the uh, the challenges that we're going to have to continue to go through so this path is available for all of us individually and this path is available for us collectively and I hope that we collectively take on this responsibility so I'll go on ahead and end the video here if you like the video hit that like button if you have any thoughts or comments of your own please comment them in the comment section below and if you like uh, this style of content, if you like what I have to say, consider subscribing. <laughs> uh, I, um, I would greatly appreciate it. So until next time.